Good morning. We're going to do a little mowing this morning, um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about um, how I how I talk to my horses, how I communicate with them, what I have for um, words that I tell them when I want them to go and to stop and to turn. Um, most of the words I use are pretty well basic words. I thought about doing this video for some time and I realized it's going to be hard to do, hard to explain how I communicate to my horses. Um, it's not just the words, it's just so much more to it. You have the words, the way, the way you say them, what you, how you, re, how you communicate through the lines. There's just so much to how I and, and others um, communicate to our horses. But I'll try to explain some of the things anyways. Of your basic commands, and when I want them to go, I tell them to step. A lot of times I'll say careful step before I, before I ask them to go. Um, I'll, I'll say careful a lot of times. Um, a lot of times I'll say careful when I turn them one way or another. To me, it's more of a, might even calm my voice down even some to let them realize just to go careful. And, and uh, so I do that a lot. Um, but your basic things is step to go ahead and then if I want to go to the right I say G and when I want to go to the left I say HA which is pretty well universal I believe and then of course to stop as well um, and then to go back it's back um, sometimes I'll add a few more words sometimes I don't, don't even know what I say so that's why as I thought about how to make this video it's hard because sometimes you use something for so long you don't even realize what you're saying so it's hard for me to tell you what I'm saying if I don't even know myself what I'm saying so but anyways we'll I'll do a lot of talk over as the video progresses and hopefully I can remember some things that I've missed and tell you more as I'm actually doing work with them so we'll get them hitched up to the mow machine and uh, go from there I usually have these two on opposite sides Bill is usually over here and ladies over there, but I swap them back and forth and today this is the way they're working. Okay. Make sure you watch to the end of the video. I do some raking and on really tight corners you can really hear how I talk to the horses. A lot of people have commented to me over the years how quiet I am with my horses but it's surprising they don't really have to be that loud. They can just they can hear you and understand you. Look at those lovely mud puddles. Got some good rain over the weekend. Oh. Since I've swapped sides with the horses today, they don't step over the pole quite like they do when they're on their regular sides, but they still do okay.
look closely to the neck yoke when I'm hitching up the last tug. The neck yoke and the pole goes right up in the air to take the weight off the necks with the D-ring harnesses. This is the first time this summer that I've swapped sides with these two on the mow machine. They don't turn quite so well this way, but they still do okay. These guys have mowed so much that we really don't hardly talk on the corners. We just, they just know what to do. And they turn, I do tell them what to do, but it's, it's, they can hardly hear me. It sure was a beautiful morning this morning. It was nice because the horse flies just weren't as bad as they've been the last couple weeks today. We've had a nice breeze, so that helps some, I'm sure. My camera is on my big firewood pile that I have down at the end of this field. This is where I did a bunch of logging last winter. So everything was going smoothly, and then my wheel fell right off. And as you can see, I lost all the, the, the lost the end plate with the three dogs in the spring, so I'm looking up through the field trying to find it. About 30 feet away from the mow machine, there it was, the tire held on that long. So here's the dog. And here's the spring that I lost. <clears throat> so I got all three of them. Put that back together. And then we'll take it back and see if we can put it back all back together. Well, I'm not going to be able to lift that mow machine up by hand, so I'm going to have to unhitch the horses and take them home, get the skid steer, bring it down, and lift it up. Well, it's Monday morning, and breakdown's already. Jim's walking the horses home from down below. Motor is broken. Tire. Say it again. I had a flat tire. Your last two Monday mornings haven't been very problem-free. I got back down here with the skid steer and picked it up, and... Now we're going to get the tire on and see if we can't get it fixed. So if you're wondering, this is what's on the inside of the of the wheel. So this wheel will just slide right back, completely free wheeling. As of right now, until I hit this on, put this on. And these are dogs, so when they're going forward, it will just turn. But when you're going backwards, these will snap. And to put these in place, you kind of got to be careful and dogs in place. Or you'll lose them like that. <laughs> Bit of a greasy job. One of the many reasons why your pants are always so greasy. Possible. A screwdriver would be nice. There. So that's that. But I got the wrong size bolt. It's long enough, but it's wrong diameter. So 
Now this is not the way it's actually supposed to be. There's a keyway in here. But uh, I can't remember now why I changed that around. But So we had to go back and get a, another bolt to get it fixed. I put the new bolt on, got back to mowing, got it finished up. Brenda came back down because she said, oh, there's so many wildflowers here, she wanted to pick some. So that's good there's something here because there sure isn't much hay. It's been so dry and this is the neighbor's field. It just doesn't get a lot of manure. So it's pretty poor quality, but it's uh, it'll make feed. Tomorrow we'll rake it and bale it up with this weather and this crop being so short, it'll dry really fast. So this is Tuesday. Yesterday we mowed this and I'm down raking it. We got some really sharp corners here on this field. So I wanted to show you and let you hear how I talk to my horses. G, G, apple G, 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 G. Ah, yep, ah, ah, ah. Oop, ha, 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 apple, ha. I decided to put my camera on my head so you could hear and see better of how I do my corners and how I talk to my horses. I am double windrowing this field. Most of my fields I would just do single windrows but it's so short that I'm doing a, a double one. There's a lot of different ways to rake and I rake a lot of different ways. When I'm turning a corner like that, that sharp, I try to keep the horses off the windrow that I've made the last time but sometimes you just can't help but step in, in it and sometimes they mess the windrow up a little bit but usually the baler picks it up without a problem. Yippa. Ha. Ha. Ah, ah, you ah,
Ah. Epa. Ah. Ah. Careful. Careful. Ah. Trick, 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 trick. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy this nice summer. Winter will be upon us before we know it. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.